Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Now take a look at what I have here. This is ginger. Now over the past month, I have used so much ginger, more ginger than I've ever used in my lifetime. And that is for a reason. Ginger contains antibacterial, anti-inflammatory properties that will help to flush out unwanted um, bacteria from the body. Now, when it comes on to COVID, a lot of people have been using ginger, lemon, and turmeric powder. However, guys, today I'm going to show you another way that you can use ginger. You can actually use ginger topically on the skin. This will help to clear the skin of hyperpigmentation, spots, blemishes, dark areas such as your knees, your elbows. So if you're looking for a way to get rid of hyperpigmentation on your skin and you want a remedy that is going to work really, really quick, guess what guys? Do not go away. Today I'm going to show you how to make an amazing ginger cream for hyperpigmentation. So if you're interested, continue watching the video. To make this recipe, you're going to need a strainer, you're going to need a blender, and you're also going to need a small jar for storing. Our first ingredient is ginger, and ginger will help to clear hyperpigmentation on the skin. It's good to get rid of dark spots and blemishes, scars, and even stretch marks. So I'm going to take uh, about two ounces of the ginger. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to peel the ginger. However, you can go ahead and you could basically wash the ginger thoroughly without peeling. So we're just going to peel our ginger, get rid of the outer portion of the ginger. Now, after peeling your ginger, we are going to be blending. Now, if you do not have a blender, you can go ahead and you could grate the ginger. I have a blender, so I'm going to blend. In order for it to blend easily, I am going to chop it in small pieces for easier blending. Now, once my ginger is chopped, this is what it looks like. And now I'm going to place it in the blender. Now before I blend, let's move on to the next ingredient. Take a look at my next ingredient. Here I have aloe vera leaf, and we're gonna be using aloe vera gel. So in order to get the aloe vera gel, we need to extract it from the leaf. So to extract the aloe vera gel, we are simply gonna get rid of the outer peel of the aloe vera gel. And I'm using about two ounces of the fresh aloe vera gel. Now, aloe vera gel will help to clear the skin of hyperpigmentation. It also helps to smooth the skin. It contains anti-inflammatory properties. It also contains vitamin C, which will help to lighten and brighten the skin and clear the skin of hyperpigmentation. Now, take a look. Here we have the fresh aloe vera gel, and we're going to reach for our ginger, and we're going to add this to the blender along with the ginger. Now, guys, we are going to blend. Do not add any water to this. Just blend as is. Now, after blending our ginger and aloe vera gel, this is what it looks like, and now we're going to strain. So we're going to reach for a small bowl and our strainer and we're going to pour this in the strainer just basically dumping it in make sure to get everything out and then guys I'm going to use my hands make sure your hands it's clean or you can use a spoon or something to extract the juice. Now this is it guys, here we have our ginger aloe vera juice. Now what we're going to be doing with this guys, we are going to use this to make a cream. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to rinse the blender since we're going to be using it a second time. Now here we have our blender. Now our next ingredient is coconut oil and we're using 100% pure first press coconut oil. Now coconut oil is one of the better oil to use to get rid of hyperpigmentation on the skin. So I'm going to pour about a three tablespoons of the coconut oil. We're pouring this in the blender. Now 
Now once this is done guys, we are going to reach for some turmeric powder, which is from the same family as the ginger. We are using the turmeric powder for its skin lightening benefit. It will have to clear hyperpigmentation on the skin. Now we're using just a little dash of the turmeric powder guys, not a lot, just a little dash, just a little dash just to enhance this remedy. Now once this is done guys, we're gonna reach back for our ginger aloe vera mixture. Give it a stir, you don't want the starch to settle at the bottom. And then we're moving in with two tablespoons of our ginger aloe vera mix, pouring this in our coconut oil. And what we're gonna do next, we are gonna blend and blend now after blending let's take a look at our cream Ooh, nice and creamy so what we're gonna do next we're gonna reach for a small storage jar we're gonna pour our cream in look how rich look how creamy this is so just pour it in make sure to get everything out and here it is. This is your ginger cream for getting rid of hyperpigmentation on the skin. Now to use this ginger cream, guys, apply it wherever you have spots and blemishes on your face, your body, your knees, your elbows. This is also good for stretch marks. However, this is best used at night. Apply it to clean skin. Massage it on the areas where you have the spots and blemishes. Leave it on overnight. Rinse in the morning. Now store this ginger cream in your refrigerator for up to seven days when it is finished make a new batch and start all over again however within seven days you should notice a significant difference to your hyperpigmentation